All right, guys. If you'll notice, these are gallows, okay? One bomb went off in Beirut, and these people are already put the gallows out, and they're ready to hang their leaders. I just wonder, I wonder when that will happen in America, because, boy, I got to let you know something. This is what needs to be done. These, these Middle Eastern people, <laughs> we think of them as stupid, and I, I don't know what exactly we think of them as. But boy, I tell you what, when the shit went down, they brought out the gallows for their leaders. Where are we at? Whenever you've got thousands and thousands of idiots running the streets, burning down what we've built, everything that we've built, guys, have you ever built anything? It feels really good to build and, and to, uh, you know, to put something together and to, to fabricate it and to make it and will it into existence. It feels real good. And to watch people just burn it away and, 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 and fire it away. And they don't care. They don't care. They didn't build it. They don't care. Okay. And so... I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying not to be loud. I'm in a dental office, actually. That's why we didn't go live is because a coward like me, you know, I had a toothache and, and, and I've been really in hell. I don't know if you guys know, but toothaches suck. And, you know, I haven't been to the dentist in 30 years. So, you know, I try to keep my shit straight. And, uh, you know, as you get to a certain age, <laughs> I guess stuff starts happening to you. I, I don't know. But we brought out the gallows, guys. And, uh, Listen, it's a, it's a party atmosphere. It's a party atmosphere, guys. They're getting ready to burn down their leaders. And I think that's what we need to do. I think we need to wait till Senate and wait till the Congress goes into session. And drag those sons of bitches out into the middle of the street with gallows and maybe some guillotines. Start chopping some heads. That's what I think. I, I think we need to let our Middle Eastern brethren show us the way. I mean, this is really good footage here. Over and over again, we'll play it. This is beautiful footage. And somebody needs to t be tied to the end of those ropes. I could just see Pelosi and Biden. And look at that. All those, all the names you could put in those nooses, guys. That's what we need to be doing. But anyway, here I am, sitting here in the middle of an office, trying to be quiet, <laughs> talking about murdering our people, our own government. That's what needs to happen. Second Amendment and First Amendment, you know, the First Amendment is what I'm speaking right now. Second Amendment makes sure I can say what I'm saying. Let's get it together, okay? Hey, guys, this is what needs to be done okay there's a lot of people that need to be at the end of the rope and let me tell you something a guy told me today he said you know because we were talking about FEMA camps and uh, he told me and I said you know all the political dissenters they'll be put in the FEMA camps and he said yeah and those will be the ones that are left over the people who took it the people who accepted their fate in the FEMA camp and didn't fight back, you know, they didn't kill before. Listen, um, I'll never be put in a FEMA camp because I'll never get there, guys. Neither will you. We're a long way from being put in a FEMA camp. But the people who were, will be able to be put in, put in the FEMA camps, those will be the people that will be left over. The ones that their will could be easily broken. And all they needed was three hots and a cot. Yeah. Uh-huh. Just feed me. I run this FEMA camp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are the ones that'll be left over. Those will be the ones that are, whenever everything goes through, they'll be like, yeah, we'll, we'll utilize these idiot cowards who didn't do anything and that could be kept in a FEMA camp. Everybody else, all the good men and women will be gone because we fought for something else. Anyway, guys, that's what I have for you today. I'm sorry, sitting in a dental office waiting for somebody to pull one of my teeth. But uh, that's just the way it goes. And uh, you know what? We'll, we'll get it together. But anyway, that's what I have for you today.